folks, we're back. This is Steve Sanson, Jim Jones with Veterans in Politics. Today we have Matthew Bowen. He's a candidate for Regent Higher System of Education, District Number One. And uh, I just um, I wanted to let folks know who the endorsed candidates are. And uh, I don't believe that uh, we talked about the ones going all the way back to the um, uh, the Senate race. So let me just read them off real quick. Um, State Senate District 1, we have um, Michelle Crawford. District 3 was no endorsement. State Senate District 5, we have Christian Bishop. Uh, District 6, no endorsement. District 7, no endorsement. District 11, no endorsement. District 18, we have Assemblyman Richard MacArthur. Uh, Regent System of Higher Education, District 1, Matthew Bowen. Uh, District 4, we have Tanya Holmes Sutton. Uh, District 11, no endorsement. Uh, State Senate District 4, we have Senator um, Dina Neal. Um, District 19, we have Chelsea Fisher. And the endorsements that we did yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the days are running together at this point, right? Um, we have um, um, State Board of Education, uh, District 1. We have Tricia Braxton, uh, Board of Education, District 3. We have Renee Cantu, uh, um, Clark County S School Board Trustee, uh, District A. We have Carl uh, Catarata, right? Yeah. And um, District... Um, uh, uh, B for the Clark County School District was no endorsement. District C was no endorsement. No endorsement. And District E we have Camellia Bywaters. So um, that was uh, five days of uh, endorsement interviews, and uh, we're going to be on the sixth day next week, Wednesday, and then one after that will be seventh. So that'll take care of all of uh, Southern Nevada. Jim, you have any rants? No, but what I want to do is I just want to personally thank every single one of the candidates that came so far to these endorsement interviews. Absolutely. There, there's a, there's an awful lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, and, and it's very important to educate the public. So just that's really all I have to say other than just I really appreciate the candidates for coming. And all the panel members that... And the panel members. Moderators. And moderators and... And, and the marks, <laughs> the marks, and the, uh, the power company to make sure we have power for the life. And the, you know, and, the and 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 all and all the sponsors and the and the and, the, um, and, uh, and uh, I think that covers everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, well, now we have Matthew Bowen, and Matthew Bowen is um, our endorsed candidate for um, for Regent uh, District Number One. And uh, and uh, we're going to have Matthew talk about his platform and, and try to get more people to vote for him. So, Mr. Bowen, how are you doing today, sir? Doing good, doing good. Tell us about yourself. Uh, where do you want me to start? From the beginning. From the beginning, all right. Um, yeah, so I'm originally from Arkansas. Okay. I was uh, raised by a single mom. And, uh, like your haircut. Thank you. Uh, yeah. You got the same one? No, nah, you got more of a cleaner, cleaner oh. one than me, you know. I'm a little bit. You look, you look like me about day five. Yeah. <laughs> about day five. Day five. Yeah. So, um, yeah, raised by a single mom, Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, Clintons. Those, you know the Clintons? Uh, <laughs> not personally. <laughs> I am familiar. Okay. Um, uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Y'all heard about Little Rock, Arkansas at all. It's an interesting place to be. Um, I eventually ended up moving and living with my grandparents in small Augusta, Arkansas, about 1,600 people population. Right. Was there uh, from ten to graduation. My grandpa taught school in that town for forty-two years mm -hmm. as a teacher. Uh, had the blessing on the way out to get taught by him my senior year, yeah. so that was good. Um, I did uh, some car sales for a while there in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, and then I joined the military. Mm -hmm. Wanted to make more for my life. I have a son. What branch? Uh, Air Force. Mm -hmm. Joined the Air Force. Thank you for your service. Thank you for yours. Thank you. And um, so I wanted to make a change, make a difference, uh, join the military, um, got put in the civil engineering. I was an HVAC trade, uh, did studies in Wichita Falls, Texas for a while. Then Dallas was my first duty station out here in Las Vegas. Yeah. 
a very welcoming city. It was great. It's the biggest city I've ever lived in. It's great that it smell, feels like a small feel. Um, got my first deployment in 2017, came back 2018, bought a house in North Las Vegas. So i uh, been there, got out in 2020 uh, during the pandemic, uh, started managing an HVAC company that eventually went under during the pandemic. What kind of company? HVAC. What is that? Uh, heat and ventilation and air conditioning. Oh, okay. So that's what I did in the military. So I got out. We naturally, you know, do keep to what we know. I got out. The body wasn't too willing. Mm-hmm. Starting to wear down on me. And I was like, well, it's an opportunity to try something else. So I uh, ended up launching my employee benefits uh, business in 2021. So I do. I work with small businesses here in the Valley doing employee benefits and different mm-hmm. strategies. Recently expanded to offer different financial strategies for individuals as well as business owners out here in the Valley. Mm-hmm. Big on just educating people of their resources and what's available. Okay. Tell us about your educational background. My educational background, um, I went to uh, Lyon College fresh out of high school. I had a full scholarship. I went pre-med, um, got there, and I realized, man, was I unprepared. Mm-hmm. I was unprepared. I ended up, uh, it's Lyon College now, it's was Arkansas College is the First college in Arkansas. My freshman year, I I end up uh, founding a fraternity. <laughs> my freshman year, the first minority fraternity on campus. And I noticed it wasn't very inclusive. So, <laughs> so I, that was my bright idea. My freshman year, and it was. I mean, it worked out. And but I, on the study side, I my school was a half star on five stars in Arkansas. What kind of Ar- degree you got? I don't have a degree. Okay. I have I have enough credits that would equate to a degree, but I've switched. I've probably been to I've been to five colleges now, including when I went to the military and the Air Force. I went through, of course, the trade school in the Air Force, which I got credits towards civil engineering degree. So my guess I'd probably be sitting around 150, 170 credits right now. So let me ask you something, because I, I don't I don't sit on the panel and, and ask questions. Um, but if I did, I would ask you this. Do you think that um, um, if. You, you are going for higher education, right? And wh- what does that mean? You're trying to be a regent for higher education. So what does that mean to you? That means your colleges, your universities, your education past high school. So you, you, are, you are a regent um, overseeing colleges, right? And overseeing students that, that, that are trying to get their degrees. And some probably have two or three degrees, right? Don't you think you should have one as well? I mean, it depends on how you look at it. Personally, me, um, if you want experience on colleges, I've been to five. I've been physically on campus to four. I've been to one that was a private college. I've been to two community college. Well, I've been to one community college. I've been to a, a University of Central Arkansas, University of Monticello, and I went to University of Baltimore while deployed. I went to trade school in the military. Mm-hmm. I've been on campuses of all sizes, different types, as well as been a part of that transition from one from a high school that didn't prepare you into a college. And I've had that failure. I've had that failure. I understand where the miss is, but I've also been in that point transitioning out of the military, seeking that next step in that education. So you've been to five colleges? Yes, sir. And you don't have a degree? I kept changing majors. So what happened if I said I've been to five high schools and I don't have a high school diploma? How would you look at me? I would tell you there's still time. So are you going to go get your degree? Absolutely. Don't do you, cause I'm the reason why I'm bringing this up because I am pushing forth a bill to change the criteria of a, of a state board regent. Uh, uh, and I give you an example. Uh, several years ago, um, there was a there was an attorney that ran for judge and his name is Joe Bonaventure. And uh, he only had two years of practice in law and nobody thought that he was going to get elected, but he did. So they changed the criteria to five years of practice in law, saying you got to have a little bit more experience practicing law before you could be in, the court, you know, a judge in a courtroom. <clears throat> Same thing with the sheriff and uh, the sheriff, any Yahoo was running for sheriff. Doesn't matter. They they didn't have they weren't post certified. They didn't have any type of police background. 